Welcome Aquarius. Um, this is your May 2024 reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising. Um, many of you are intuitively guided to readings now, and I thank you so much for paying attention to your intuition. You know, I know that's how our spirit guides work. They'll get a message to you one way or another, um, and I'm happy to be that vessel for you. Um, some of you may be in love with an Aquarius. Same thing. Just remember, you'll probably get signs yourself. So um, just try to do as much as you can. Just let go of control. And don't be afraid to ask your spirit guides to send you confirmation during this reading. Um, something that will allow you to know it's for you or not. You know, if you want. You certainly don't have to. Um and then uh, before we get into reading, I do want to let you know that I am doing a very limited time special um, for a personal reading, but it's a one question only. Um, and that allows me to give the turnaround, you know, much sooner versus having to wait a month for it. Um, so that's going to be for a limited time. I'm kind of doing it for Mother's Day, though. I don't know if I can go the whole way to Mother's Day, um, depending you know what I mean? I don't want to overwhelm myself either. Um, so, but all that information will be below for you. Um, all right, guys, I, let's just get into your reading. Uh, I do apologize. It's a couple days late. I took yesterday off, just needed, it's like the month ended. Ah, uh, just needed that, that moment to rest. And now I feel, feel, I feel fully rest. So let's get into your reading, guys. Um, so we're going to use four different tarot decks. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot to go deeper, to clarify, um, you know, after the main reading. We are going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. And I also decided to um, do this after the reading. You know, I like doing it before the reading, and that's usually what I do. But I don't know, for the month of May, like something is saying, do it at the end. So I'm listening to my intuition. Um, and then uh, what I love is a new format I started in April, and I may continue with it. We'll see. Um, but I'm using two different tarot decks for your main spread. And I'm doing this for a couple different reasons. I'm definitely looking for synchronicities, um, you know, like, because I feel like if this, let's just say, has anything to do with love, then I feel like we're going to see two perspectives. Um you know, whatever it may be, we're looking for those synchronicities. It's, you know, synchronicities to me erase the doubt. So that's why I chose to do this. So we're going to use the Tarot of Dreams with the Psychic Tarot. We're going to start with the Psychic Tarot, though. So I'm going to do like a line of the Psychic Tarot and then a line of the Tarot of Dreams and then the Psychic Tarot so on and so forth, depending on what comes out. And what I mean is sometimes more than just four cards come out at one time. So we are open. We are open. Just going to take one moment. Just calm my mind. And let's begin. All right. Aquarius, you know I want to sing that song, Aquarius, wow, look at this, obstacles and challenges, obstacle and challenges, it's a five, so it does talk about change, but it's shown in reverse, so I feel like these are challenges or obstacles that you've overcome, interesting because I'm not sure if it was Capricorn, who, um, where this was their, their very first card. If it wasn't Capricorn, then it would have been Sagittarius, but I feel like it might be Capricorn. Anyway, I like to see that. That means you definitely overcome something. That means that obstacle wasn't quite as big as I thought, or if it was big, like, you should definitely congratulate yourself. Oh, let me bring the lid down. Sorry about that. All right. Well, there's Capricorn. We have balance. 
This is Justice. Um, this is Libra's major arcana. But it is about balance. You know, some of you may have cut ties with someone or something that um, it, it just kind of feels like was kind of getting in your way. You know, you could have given something plenty of time, plenty of effort, but yet at the same time, I feel like, you know, maybe what I needed to do was cut ties. Maybe by cutting those ties, it's what really gives me this sense of balance. All right, let's keep going. Moving on. Well, that's what you did. You moved on. Um, you know, whether you're moving on from a person or a situation, this definitely would signify to us that, you know, because you, you have to go one card back, like within the six. Some cards, you, you really want to look back one card. And Six of Swords is one of those cards because what are you leaving? What are you moving on from? You're moving on from toxic type energy. So again, anything that like, you know, it can be someone who just keeps throwing obstacles in your way um, and enough is enough. Um, you know, it could be someone that you had a connection to and it just became more difficult than you expected or you planned or that you even will accept. All right, let's keep going. Well, look at this. Material and spiritual prosperity. Beautiful. So this person's moving on, right? And it literally shows them moving in this direction towards the future. You know, material and spiritual prosperity that is mirroring obstacles and challenges. But somehow I found a way. Like I found a way to gain this prosperity or if you haven't gained material and spiritual prosperity yet you're on your way you know I often feel in the six of swords like it's temporarily a little bit of difficult energy you know you'll see like in a lot of images where they're traveling through some choppy waters um but it really is the promise of you know calm waters just right out there not far away and this person feels like they're kind of staking their claim. It's like they're looking over their property, so to speak, with, I feel like, a sense of pride. It's like, I built this. I created this. Maybe it is through my spirituality that I have found the way. Some of you, it could certainly talk about, um, it could be an old job that you cut ties with. And maybe you're doing your own thing. You know, you're freedom lovers. So I feel like, you know, doing your own thing would definitely make make you happy. All right, let's keep going. Mm, positive movement forward. So where there were obstacles, they're now gone. Now, is this like overnight? No, because it does take you to stop and really try to understand why there were these challenges. You know, sometimes these challenges are soul lessons and, um, or you could say karmic lessons with justice out here. And if that, if that's the case and maybe the lesson was not to accept the toxicity I feel like a job well done. And I often feel like as, you know, our soul lessons go, you know, think about the classroom, like we're in a classroom, you know, it's like, okay, you get an A. All right. But anyways, positive movement for, forward. And look what this person is going towards, the sun. You know, I feel like if I've been dealing with energy that was deceitful, that was dark, that was untruthful, that type of energy. Now I'm heading towards the sun and everything is illuminated in the sun. You know, like you do not have to worry about the shadows when the sun is out because there's nowhere for the shadows to hide. Eight, a new beginning. And interesting is you have five, which is the change. And then eight is allowing yourself to have that new beginning. But, it, but it's all positive. 
right material and spiritual prosperity, positive movement forward. And then we have temptation. Temptation. Um, this is Capricorn. Capricorn's coming right under Libra. Um, but this could certainly talk about energy that um, you were tempted to. You know, sometimes you just simply mean like if there was like drama around me, it pulled me in. But I feel like only for a period of time. You know, I love this image because this person is like the kind of like the dark night of the soul, right? But then their finger is right there on the light. And what's this light connected to? A key. What's that key do? It unlocks the next door. So even in my darkest times, my darkest moments, that light is still there. You know, the devil can certainly cast illusions that were stuck, right? Oh, I can't change. I can't change my life. I can't change this. But that's an illusion. You know, I'm not going to say it's easy. But definitely possible. Definitely possible. All right. Let's go ahead and bring the Tarot of Dreams in. Um, and by the way, I don't know if I said this, but all my cards are always pre-shuffled before I start a reading. But I do like to shuffle them um, with you here. I do it for you. All right, let's introduce them into the reading. It feels like that pal wants to come first. Okay. Wow. I just knew it. I knew those cards wanted to come out. Um, but a roll at my table is they really do need to come out. All right. We have the Fool. We have the Four of Pentacles. Some of you may be moving into a new home. Um, for some of you, the obstacle could have been money. You know, the way. Because I do feel like that. I feel like for a few of you, it's like, I do feel like, you know, potentially I left the toxicity behind. I cut ties. And now I, I jump into the fool's energy. And that's exactly what the person in the Six of Swords is doing. Moving on from the past jumping into the fool's energy, which means now I'm willing to take some chances in my life. I'm willing to take a leap of faith. Why? Well, because I know so much more than I used to know. You know, this prosperity, it's not magic. It's because, it's because of your life lessons. It's because of the actions you were bold enough to take. You know, it's all of that. And I love the fool being here because it does, to me, it feels, I feel free. Like all of a sudden, I just feel free. All right, I'm going to slide these up a little bit. Hmm, the dad one, one move. All right, let's keep going. Look at this. Eight of Wands over the Eight of Wands. What do you think about that? Also, what I think about, I bring about. Now, let's think about that. Because if I'm trying to manifest, you know, let's just say something that I want to do with my life. Because this is your life. This is your story, right? And everybody in it is just characters. You know, they're playing the part that you give them. Um, so anyways, I feel like, you know, now that I, I have this realization, everything just seems to be moving in the right direction for you. Um, you know, again, it, I don't want you to think this is just like easy peasy because it took my action 
It took me cutting of ties. It took me understanding that, listen, maybe I did lower my vibration for a little bit um, for another, um, but I don't feel like that's the case anymore. It's like I've had that realization, and I just feel like I'm no longer willing to live in that type of energy. You know what I mean? I feel like because it's like one step forward, three steps back. But to hear, if I jump in the fool's energy, if I'm able to cut those ties to the toxicity that once was, if I look at these, you know, any future obstacles and understand, like, if I overcame this, man, there's nothing I can't overcome. And it's the belief in yourself, even if there's no one else that believes in you, I believe in you. Your spiritual team believes in you. All right, but I also feel like we have potentially two people in the same type of energy. Okay, well, got to take the moon because it's flipped itself around. So let's start with the moon. Um, Card of Pisces, ruler of cancer. It's coming under balance which is justice again, and temptation, which is the devil. This is, I think I literally just said, card of Pisces, ruler of cancer. Um, but this can talk about uncertainties. And listen, maybe, maybe I was tied to a certain situation because of the uncertainty. You know, it's hard to make a change where you don't know 100% like that I'm going to be okay. But I feel like this is saying... Oh, you're going to be better than okay. I get this sense where, like, I want to just say, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. All right, well, let's keep going. Well, hello, world. Under the full and under moving on. This is the next chapter. Remember in the devil's energy where they're touching the light and that's connected to the key? Well, that's why you need the key. Because it's going to unlock this door. And, you know, what I love about the world's energy is it really is the most spiritual time in your life. I feel, you know, and look what's right in the middle. The full. Well, it's right underneath the full. So. That's confirmation right there. But anyways, I feel like, you know, I feel like the world shows, um, you know, again, kind of as a reward, but it's because you're ready for it. You know, it's because you are using that key, because you are going to unlock that door and because you are going to take a leap of faith. At least I'm assuming you are. We have the Hermit, Card of Virgo. We have a lot of major arcanas out. We have the Hermit, the World, the Moon, the Devil, the Fool, Justice. I mean, wow. Now, let's look at this for a second. Because, yes, this is Virgo, but... You know, it can be a Virgo for some, but I really feel like this is talking about you. You know, first of all, I feel like many of you are old souls and you're pulling on that soul wisdom. Um, you know, this is often like going through the dark night of the soul. but This is coming out of that with so much more knowledge and especially, you know, spiritual knowledge. And it's why it's sitting next to the world, I feel. You know, I also love this energy for any spiritual, um, and it doesn't have to be spiritual based businesses, but you know, maybe it's a business, but you really trust your spiritual self within that. And I feel like, man, you do that. And I feel like the world will be your oyster, you know, prosperity, spiritual prosperity. Well, that's what the hermit's seeking. You know, I'm seeking, I'm seeking wisdom. 
But I also feel like some of you are old souls and you're just pulling on, you know, it could be past life wisdom. It could be your higher self. It could be all of that. And it's a number nine. So it is reflection, right? But then it's mirrored over here by positive movement forward. And that is movement. So I feel like the days of reflection are now coming to an end. And it's more about, okay, now what am I going to do? Where am I moving to? What do I want to accomplish? Because I feel like whatever you want to accomplish, I feel like you will. We have the devil again, double Capricorn. Though I do want you to look at this image. I know some of you just listen and don't watch. So let me try to explain it to you. So the devil has this influence over this person. And this person's in a cage, right? So they have this illusion that they're stuck. I can't leave the cage. But the truth is the door is wide open. So that's illusionary energy. You know, it's like the dark is trying to trying to get you to think that you, you know, that you have to stay in a certain type of energy. But really, I feel like this is freeing oneself. We have the five of cups. Interesting. We have hello, ace of wands. What a beautiful line right here inspired action right into the world and the fool so you know this fool i feel like has nothing to worry about because i feel like you are going to be guided you just need a clear open mind you know what i mean because i feel like what it means is the signs will be sent to you to help you like in your new direction and if you know, if you feel like you get a sign, but you're not like, is it, was that a sign? Ask your guys to send it again. Inspired action along this new journey. How could that be bad? Right? Full saying, just take, take a chance on yourself. Enter into this next chapter. And I promise that I'll guide you. I'll help you. I'll help you reach this prosperity, not just spiritual prosperity, but also material prosperity. Some of you it may even give you like you find a way to buy a home. You're working from home and it can be all the above. All right, well, let's keep going. Mm, Ten of Swords coming under the Hermit. And then, oh my, Ten of Wands connected to the Queen of Cups. All right. First of all, Ten of Swords, not an easy energy, right? And I do feel like sometimes it is a repeat pattern. And I do want to say, just be a little careful because in the Five of Cups, there is someone I'm missing. You know, Five of Cups speaks about um, like emotional loss. But, you know, it's kind of like, again, that devil's influence. Like, am I stuck in that energy? And I'm just saying this because I feel like just, you know, if, if someone is coming back into your life, let's say, that, you know, probably does take up some space in your heart. What you want to ask yourself is, is, has the energy changed? Is it the same old, same old? And I say that because I could very easily repeat a pattern here. And, you know, it almost feels like self-sabotage. But I don't feel like I mean it. So I just feel like anyone who comes in and wants your time, make sure they're worth it. Now, with all that said, Five of Cups does speak about where your focus is at. And the focus really is on what I have lost. It's a five. It says, consider change. Consider thinking about what's yet to be gained. 
you know, and when this person does make a change, there are two cups behind them. And I feel like I kind of felt soulmate energy. I didn't say it because we don't have the soulmate yet, but I'm just looking at some of the synchronicities and I'm thinking, okay, we have some similar type energy. And I often feel like when soulmates, like, you know, romantic soulmates come into our life, we find that we both have very similar experiences. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, like when I think of Sam and I, um, like, I'll just give you an example, 2020 or 2009, for both of us, um, though we were in different places, not talk. I mean, I, you know, this is before we came together. Um, that's when Sam was dealing with all his health issues, um, had a heart attack and then a stroke. Um, and then on my side, um, I lost a job that I thought I was going to retire from. It's just, it was the craziest thing. Like, like all of a sudden gone, right? Um, it's the year I lost my mother. Um, it, I ended up in the hospital for like two weeks for, I, we don't even know why. Um, and I have a feeling I just have a feeling now I get it. I feel like Sam and I were mirroring each other, though different experiences, though both, what I mean though is we're both having like really one of the most difficult periods in our lives, just one, because, you know. Anyway. Um, I kind of love the hermit though with the Ten of Swords, because I feel like the Hermit would understand, you know, if it's a repeat pattern, if it's, you know, let's just say anyone comes back into my life and very quickly, I feel like you will, you'll be able to know, especially if like you've overcome these obstacles, you've cut ties to whatever is toxic in your life. You're taking a chance on yourself. And, you know, I feel like doesn't that happen often when like we start to, to do really well and then someone wants to like, oh, well, look at her, look at him to doing well. Like I want a piece of that. Well, I feel like that's why you want to be careful of the Ten of Swords because it can be a repeat pattern and it is mirrored over here by the devil. So could be Capricorn. But I really feel like it's more about where, you know, I thought I was, I don't know, stuck. Um, and then let's look over here. So we have the Ten of Wands, which is a period of time of really heavy responsibilities. And, you know, this is the energy of really putting everything on your shoulders like you're taking the brunt of it. I often feel the person in a Ten of Wands is really secretly hoping for a tower, right? Some type of change. It almost feels too much. Too much. And I don't know if this queen has anything to do with that. Uh, that can be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But it doesn't have to be. It may talk about even emotionally. Things became too much, like emotionally everything was put on my shoulders and you know if it's speaking of love who wants that right like i want a partner who is going to be there with me and listen maybe that's what you end up finding but i have to know where i've been so i know where i'm going also so i you know i feel like the more i reflect upon the chapters in my life and really just to understand how I have grown the less and less we're tempted back to any lower vibrational energy no it's quite the opposite where it's like if you want to be with me then your vibration needs to be at a certain level right like if you carry toxicity if you carry drama keep on going just walk right past me these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Start 
walk-in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I know some young, young, well, I mean, younger people are like, who and what song was that? That was actually Nancy Sinatra. Um, but anyways, look at this, Chariot. Chariot. Unlimited potential. And maybe you're just now starting to realize that. You know, the chariot, again, is another energy where I feel like it comes at the right time. Um, it comes when you find balance within yourself. You do have the word actually on the table where it says balance. But, you know, it's like when you find balance, then energy really becomes unlimited in whatever area you're looking at. Doesn't mean I can't, like, it doesn't mean that everything is like smooth as can be but if there again are any obstacles or challenges i feel like i can get right through them now you know i'm not the same old girl same old boy i used to be look at that after the tower so goodbye tower i feel like i'm going as far away from that tower as possible and then let's look at the bottom of the Tarot of Dreams. Hello, Temperance. Card of Sagittarius. This is all about divine timing. You know, Temperance's first message is patience. Patience while all good things come together. But it really is trusting in divine timing. You know, again, inspired action. So this full... Though I may not know like how things are going to turn out. If I just follow, it's like breadcrumbs. Like following the breadcrumbs, it feels like it leads you to like a whole new world. Temperance. Divine timing. Under the high priestess. So it's like intuitively knowing when it's time to move. When it's time to take a step forward. You know, when it's time to be in the fool's energy. All right. All of a sudden, I'm like sweating. It's weird. Like, out of, just out of nowhere. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. And, um... Just thinking it could be because I'm drinking hot coffee on a warm day. But anyways, let's use the um, Gilded Trail and let's go over this and let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Definitely certain energies um, I'm interested in looking at deeper. One of them is the Five of Cups. This whole line just feels beautiful to me because moving on again the six of swords right temporarily it can be difficult but again inspired like your steps will be shown to you and you know and then that net that new chapter opening up but you are ready for it all right so we're going to start at the beginning um, but we are reading them as a whole. You know, the reading as a whole. Okay. So let's look at the top line. Obstacles and challenges, but in reverse. Balance, which is justice. Moving on, six of swords. Oh, and then material and spiritual prosperity. 66, by the way. Hmm. We have the Knight of Swords. It's almost like some type of communication comes in. Um, this seems to help you. You know, I feel like this Knight is, um, it's like a job offer. Or it could be, you know, communication from someone. Um, it could be romantically. But it could also be like a job offer. You know, so I feel like... 
I feel like it's some it's it's some way that's that it's going to help you. So let's follow that night a little bit. Hello, Nine of Cups. Some of you have become single. And though that can be difficult, you know, this is, well, I shouldn't have said that because in this energy, it doesn't feel difficult. You know, some of you are literally freeing yourself from someone. Again, it, it, it kind of feels romantic, but it could be both. Nine of Cups is about inner harmony, but it's also about a fulfillment of a wish. And maybe it literally took your movement, like, like through the Six of Swords moving on. To me, it's like I'm signaling to the universe, okay, let's close that chapter. And this really is loving life. You know, it doesn't mean everything is fine. Everything is going your way. But enough is, right? This is where I'm appreciating my life. Well, hello, Ace of Wands. In the same line. They're actually mirroring each other. And then the Seven of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry, Seven of Wands. Hmm. Look at that. The aces are mirroring each other. Okay, so I'm feeling a couple different things. First of all, I feel like um, I have a feeling love is going to come into this reading because I definitely feel the mirroring of each other. Um, and it's interesting because I feel like, uh, and I don't need any, I don't need to worry about this. Like this isn't even something I really feel like I need to think about. I feel like in the right time, right? Temperance in divine timing, like all will be, but in the right time. And sometimes the universe is waiting on us. And sometimes we're waiting on the universe. And again, that person, like this 10 of wands, I do feel like secretly they were waiting for that tower. Well, nope. Towers under the chariot. So. You know, in a way, I want to say you got your wish, though I don't feel like it was easy, though I feel like it's going to be easy. I also feel like for some of you, um, you know, it is your experiences that I feel like is going to lead you into what you do, let's just say next, or what you do, um, you know, it could be what you currently do, but you're doing it in a a more free way. Um, some of you are helping others. You know, you're helping others not to repeat what you have repeated. You know what I mean? Like you've learned your lessons and and I and I do feel like you're someone who does care about their fellow man. So I love that energy, you know, material prosperity with the seven of wands there. It definitely could be helping other people put out their own fires. You know what I mean? Um it could certainly be the energy, you know, when I see the seven of wands over um, material prosperity, sometimes I, I see it like an attorney. That doesn't mean you have to be an attorney, but I feel like, like I'm, I'm helping to defend you in some way. You know, it's funny. I looked up faith, my granddaughter, faith and I were looking up just what our names meant. And my name, um, means defender of man. And I thought, well, that makes sense. That makes sense because I am always concerned about my fellow um, sisters and brothers, you know, in the world. All right, well, let's keep going. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? You are. You are, my dear. You are. So we're going to be looking at positive movement forward, the devil, the fool, and the four of pentacles. Hello, four of swords. 
I kind of love that because that means your past is being healed. That means, you know, past heartache, past, you know, words that were against you. Again, I don't feel like they held merit, but yet they probably still affected you. You know, sometimes it's from people we love who, like, can treat us the worst sometimes. But this is the healing of that. You know, it's the healing of your heart. But I also always notice this one sword, and I feel like that's ourselves. That's the knowing of ourselves. You know what I mean? Like, just knowing our part within a situation. And sometimes we had no part in it. But sometimes it can mean that, especially with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, like we stayed at the party too long. But I find that beautiful because to me, it's definitely signifying that the past hardships are not going to have an effect on your future. And I feel like that's so important. Mm, look at this, the Hermit again. Coming over the Devil. Interesting. Double Virgo, double Capricorn. Um, my Sam has a double Virgo sun and moon. Not double, but has a sun and moon in Virgo. Um, and I'm only saying that because for some of you, you may, you you know, this may be talking about someone who has like double. It could be a sun and moon. Um, but beyond that, don't worry about that. You know, it's interesting because the hermit is completely illuminating the devil. And that means I don't need to fear this illusion. Like, like you can't cast illusions over me because I'm in the light. Like, I carry that beacon of light. And it is my protection. You know, and... Interesting because I never really noticed this before, but it's like he is coming out, coming out of the cave, like as an older person. And I feel like it's representing again, an old soul and the wisdom that, that, that your, that your soul has. But what I also love is that this, uh, the hermit speaking of light is illuminating the snake coming right over the devil. So, again, you can't do anything in the dark that I won't know about. And maybe that's to comfort you. And also, two nines, back to back, 99. All right, well, let's keep going. And keep in mind that, well, two nines, um, but that is about final reflection. When you think of a nine, it does want you just to reflect back, but not like, you know, like, ah, man, how bad was I? You know, it's, it's not about that. It's about reflecting back and looking how you have grown. It is knowing yourself also. I feel like it's really important, you know, especially let's just say that I'm looking for love then I need to know how I will, how I'm going to be in love. And if I'm basing it off past love that did not go so right, and let's say I haven't healed that, well, that kind of moves forward in your life with you, right? That's energy that has not been cleared. And I feel like that's why you keep getting these nine saying, it's important to clear this energy, you know? And again, it's really to see how you have grown from it. And to forgive yourself for the things that you think that you have done wrong. You know, let's say someone pulled you into some difficult energy and it may have taken some time. Like, don't blame yourself, right? Maybe it was a karmic lesson. And maybe the lesson was just to leave it. And not to allow it to repeat. Now, some of you may... You know, with the Five of Cups here, that can certainly talk about, like, someone that I'm missing. But then there's two cups when this person's, well, really, it's like, when I stop focusing on what I have lost and instead jumping in the fool's energy. Well, there are two cups. 
that have yet to be found. Um, and, you know, one of the, you know, one may be, again, someone who I feel like, no, uh-uh, like, don't let them back in. Don't let them back in. And I feel like those that I'm speaking to know why I'm saying that. You know, I feel like they don't bring a whole lot of value to your life. And I don't mean that in an egotistical way because I feel like I've given time, effort, everything. And then I start to do well on what you want to show back up in my life. And you are, you know, this cutting of ties is really what gives you that inner harmony. And to me, inner harmony is a sense of freedom. And then you put it with the hermit. Well, dependent, independent, and freedom. I mean, that's just what you're all about. All right. Interesting. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to take them the way they came. We have, and by the way, um, I don't put reversals in my deck. So when they come on reverse, sometimes I read them in reverse, but I don't always. Um, but I certainly keep it in mind. So with the two swords. And that could potentially be blocking an opportunity. And then next to it is the five of wands. But it's reversed. So the five of wands in the upright. It does speak about battling type energy. You know, the, it's the type of energy nobody wants to back down. It can be drama filled. But listen, and I often feel in this energy, if I'm waiting for someone to apologize, acknowledge their ways, I'm probably not going to find it. Man, I feel like some of you have dealt with some difficult energy. But here's the thing. I feel like you know that. And you said enough is enough. You know, I feel like the Hermit's uh, Beacon of Light is also illuminating the Two Swords. And the Two Swords is, you know, it's natural. It's where, you know, of course I'm a little fearful to make. It's coming over the full make, you know, or start a new beginning in my life. But the Hermit's illuminating the blindfold also. So it's the blindfold. And it may be, you know, like the uncertainty. Like, I don't know where this is going to go. I feel like trust in your guides. Trust in your guides. Because I feel like what's meant to find you is going to find you. But I do feel like you have to allow it at the same time. You know, it's scary. New beginnings. I get it. But again, the the inspiration that is sent your way and and the ace of wands it does require your action like it does require you to reach out and be like oh thank you yes i accept that ace i'm not real worried about this two swords because the four swords is here and it may just be one simple little thing you know i just may be someone who has a hard time with change. But man. Well, let's keep going. We'll see what comes underneath it. Like, I'm hoping we can knock that blindfold right off you. Well, didn't even realize that many cards came out. All right. We have the Page of Pentacles. Hello, Six of Cups over the Five of Cups. We have the Hangman. You know, interesting, because the Hangman coming over this Ace of Wands, which is all about action. And then the Hangman, which is a pause in the action. Why? Why are we pausing? I think it's the Two of Swords. I think it's that blindfold. 
But again, I feel like the hermit is trying to illuminate, you know, get underneath that blindfold, show you the light. Give you some comfort in knowing that what you're moving towards is really of the light and prosperity. But the hangman, like, mm, it's like Temperance is saying, no, nah, first that blindfold's got to go. All right. And then we have the six of pentacles. Give and take. The fine art of give and take. And it is an art because many times, like in this reading, it definitely feels like, you know, like I gave and I gave and I gave and I gave. And now, and maybe I didn't receive. And the more I gave, the less I received. So I needed to take a hard look at that because it should be equal. You know, I love the Six of Pentacles because I feel like it's a very empathetic and compassionate type energy. It's definitely the energy of, you know, as you start this, this journey and you start to see this material prosperity, it's the energy of wanting to help others. You know, I have all I need and now I want to help others to succeed. You know, and then there's just some people who you cannot change. You know what I mean? They are just takers. And that's just who they are. You know what I mean? Like, like I almost feel like someone like whining. Like, uh, what do you mean you can't give me any money? What do you mean you can't? What do you mean? Like, like, mm. but that's fake. I definitely want to come back and look at this six of cups coming over the five of cups. Now. It's making me realize, listen, I feel two things and I feel like this is life. Like as I start to do better and better in my life, as I start to like really find my way, well, sometimes people come out of the woodwork, you know, and want a piece of the, of your action. And maybe that's why that blindfold really needs to go because I feel like they don't deserve a piece of your action. Yet here, so I feel like that's one thing. You may be having someone coming back again with their hands out, so to speak. But then I also feel with the six of cups over the five of cups that it can certainly talk about, well, it does talk about someone that I have really happy memories of, potentially cherished memories of. And listen, this could be someone that I just kind of think about here and there, or just all of a sudden starts popping on my mind. You know, don't be surprised how spirit guides you. You know, maybe you were, maybe you're meant to just like all of a sudden start thinking of someone and they, you, and maybe you were connected romantically in the past, or maybe you were just friends. Or maybe you work together, you know, whatever it may be. Um, it's still someone that when I think about them, truly they bring a smile to my face. So I'm wondering if this is potentially talking about, um, first of all, I feel like first and foremost, we're speaking about the cutting of ties, what does feel karmic, you know, and I know that's not for everyone, but for some of you, it's karmic. And listen, if you cut ties and it was a karmic lesson. Job well done. Job well done. And that alone, the universe responds in kind. So I want to come down. I want to look at... Well, actually, I'm just going to ask the question. 
you know, um, because I feel like this is definitely speaking about your money and your money increasing. Yes, you're putting the the work in, but again, it feels inspired. I also feel like, and I said this probably in Capricorn's reading, where I feel like, um, you know, one day you're just driving down the street and like, you know, you go to your normal place before work to get a cup of coffee, like Dunkin' Donuts, but something that day, something calls to you. Like everything is saying, no, take a left, take a left, Sandy, go to Starbucks. And so I do. And lo and behold, maybe I see someone that I haven't seen in a long time. Maybe I meet someone brand new. Like that's what divine timing is all about. It's saying, I trust you, divine. I put my trust within you. And I am going to follow your guidance. And then I feel like you're going to be blown away. But, so my question is, as it relates to love, true love, good love, high vibrational love. Whoa. Okay, so we had a lot of things just flip out. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I got to take the face up ones first. Interesting, they all came in reverse. Let's move this over here. Let's start with this. There's that five of cups again. Nine of swords. Maybe I worry I'll never find anyone to love me the way I deserve to be loved. And you do need to know that you deserve to be loved. You know, maybe during some of this difficult period when you laid your head down at night it's someone else that you thought about and maybe they thought about you too wow so literally i asked your guides to let me know about love not any old love not loves that has tons of lessons but true love Love that has the potential to last a lifetime. Literally, I just asked your guides that. And here's the marriage card. This is my favorite love card. And it's because everyone in this, in this energy, they want to be in this energy. And I feel like, I feel like it would be very hard to pull these two people about apart, you know, and that may be speaking about like, Again, someone of your past, though, who doesn't want to see you do well. But I feel like you just push them out the door quickly. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the page here. Now we have the Queen. Now, it doesn't have to be um, an earth sign. Can represent, though, um, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have double Virgo, double Capricorn on the table. Um, yeah, well, let's keep going. Um, I feel like taking this one next. There's that queen who made it back out. Two queens. And then all these came in reverse. Wow. Hello, Ten of Swords. So literally, those swords are dropping out of your back. What had all that weight upon you now has no weight. You know, it's like, yeah, I probably needed to forgive. But truth be told, I feel like this is you just moving on with life. I love that you're no longer allowing what was, what wasn't good. To have an effect on you any longer. I mean, look at the swords. They're just falling out. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Coming under the Nine of Swords. We have the High Priestess. That's your intuition. Kind of shut off right there. We have the Emperor. Interesting. Card of Aries. Um... 
normally someone I would look up to. But in reverse, I don't know. And then we have the Five of Swords. I feel like the Emperor. Now listen, this could be a father figure for sure. Um, but it's he's connected directly to the Five of Swords. He's directly connected to the toxicity. So I feel like what it's saying here, and listen, for some of you, it could have even been a boss. But really, I feel like what this is saying is, you know, it's like no one can pull the wool over your eyes anymore. You just come too far. Part of the challenge may have been in your material house, like in your finances. You know, can I make it on my own? I feel like the answer is yes, but I don't feel like you're alone for long. I don't say that very often because I want to, I want this to be as real, right? And, and when I say that, that means that we have to look at the energy yeah, you because know, some people are like, oh, yeah, that's just great. That's just beautiful. But that'll never happen. Why not? Because it's showing you, like, if I clear the toxicity, whatever that may be to you. And I trust more in divine and the, the, the signs that are being sent to me. Listen, if they're being sent to you, I would follow. Why can't it be for you? Hmm. And you know what else I love here? The Five of Cups where, again, I'm focusing on what I have lost. But let's not forget this Knight of Swords in the very beginning. Where I felt like this night was bringing some type of communication of a very good nature. And for some of you, it can be, again, someone who just popped in my mind. But they were probably thinking about you. And you them. Some of you may have no clue yet, but you may feel you know, as as this energy leaves, fades away. And don't forget, we have the Four of Swords, the healing of the past. And then I take these aces and I follow them. Well, communication that just comes maybe out of the blue. Interesting. I feel like there was someone that I used to be able to look up to that I no longer can. I feel like my intuition tried to tell me that, but, you know, for a while I shut it down. And I get it. We all do that. But I feel like the evidence was so strong that I couldn't shut it down any longer. I had to be real. I had to face the facts. I had to understand that if I didn't make movement, then maybe nothing would ever change. You know, there is something energetically going on where I feel like hardships are, I'm not going to say are coming to an end forever, because that's life, right? Life is full of challenges. But as we get more and more in our spirituality, these challenges look smaller and smaller. It's like what used to look like a mountain now looks like a molehill. You know, I mean, what a reward for just simply bettering your own life and simply trusting in divine timing. I'm telling you, I just feel like you will be not just guided to great love. And I say great love because in the four of wands, which is a marriage card, I don't know how it gets any better. I mean, that's true commitment. And I feel like once these people come together, they really could not imagine their life 
without each other. So different than what my life used to look like. All right, let's take Mother Mary over. Oh, interesting. What's going on here? Look at this. So here's my deck, right? Just here's my deck. I go to pick it up. And there's two cards that are flipped in the opposite direction. Now, did I miss them? I don't know. But here they are. Well, look at this. The death card. Uh, could be Scorpio. And then the two of cups. So the soulmates were kind of hiding. But we found them. You know, it's interesting because the death card talks about transformation, the closing of old doors. You know, some doors just need to be closed. There's no way around it. But then when we do close those doors, you know, just like we saw the key, right, in the devil's energy, but we still saw that light and that light was connected to the key that opens up the world energy, the next chapter. Death card is similar to that. It is about a rebirth. But look, soulmates, I knew it. I knew it. I felt it. And I love how your guides brought it out. Like, like we can't deny it. And look at these two beautiful people, eye to eye. Eye to eye. Recognition. Wow. All right. Now let's take Mother Mary and get her words of wisdom over everything. What? Sun, sun, everywhere, sun. You know, and it's interesting because, yes, signs to help you in your financial world, in your material world, in your everyday life, but also signs that I feel are guiding you right towards a soulmate and vice versa, by the way. And maybe neither one knows that, but they're going to trust in whatever signs their guides are send sending. And then lo and behold, you know, you can't plan love. And anyone who says you can, I don't know how you can. Do you know what I mean? I'm talking about love. You have to fall in love. Another reason why temperance's energy is so important because it is allowing me just to trust and let go. Like, I don't have to worry. As long as I'm being proactive in my own life, then I feel like what's meant to find you and what you're meant to find Oh, you will. All right. Mother Mary. Mother Mary. For Aquarius and those that are here. We have, hello, love. Love. Love is the answer to all of my questions. You know, don't forget with yourself first. You gotta love yourself. Even those broken little pieces. Right? You know, God gave you this body. God gave you this life. God didn't forget to include love. Love, 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 self respect. Self-respect. I honor and love myself through my healthful actions. So love, which I had no doubt, and self-respect. And you know, anyone who comes towards you who doesn't respect you, exit, exit. 
no room for you here. I have too much going on. And too much is finding me. Not too much. But great things are finding me. Opportunity is finding me. Love is finding me. You know, if you've done me wrong and you've fallen from grace, it's not that I won't forgive you, but you're not going to be with me any longer. I'll forgive you, but I'm moving on. I'm moving on up. And not only material and spiritual prosperity, but also love. And this is not karmic love. This is not free will, so to speak. I mean, yes, you can say no. That's free will. Someone wrote a comment that they don't believe in free will. I don't know how you don't believe in free will. Um, but, you know, that's your choice. But, you know... You were given free will from God. Free will to love or not to love. To be or not to be. You know, I feel like the heaviness of the reading were where the lessons were. And then, you know, I just, I don't know why I didn't talk about the Page of Pentacles other than to say that this could be younger energy and then um, with the queen, like current energy. Um, but the Page of Pentacles definitely talks about a learning experience, right? I'm here to learn. But not just learn, you know, this is about creating a good life for yourself. Some of you may go back and take a class and you just may meet someone. Like, I'm not going to leave it off the table. Some of you, I feel like you know this person from way back. Whatever it may be, I'm not going to leave anything off the table. Because temperance says, just trust and divine. Let go of the things that you cannot control. And let me control them. Let me guide you. And I'm not just guiding you. I'm also guiding another. Aquarius, what a reading. What a reading. Um, you know, it's hard for me to say I love this reading, though I did. I do love this reading. Um, but I don't love, you know, the hardships that you had to go through and that. But I do understand. You know, I do understand that a lot of these things are spiritual in nature and it's really to help us, you know, evolve and become the best us that we can become. And listen, when we're in that energy and then love enters your door, wow, that's a whole new story. Okay, I'm going to let that be. I love you guys. I thank you. I thank you for your patience. Um, you know, I would tell you, because uh, you're definitely mirroring someone else's energy. Uh, but it's interesting because we have double Virgo, double Capricorn. Um, you know, there's just so many different energies in on the board that you just, you know, just trust yourself. But I love that this really is giving you an opportunity. And it makes sense that you first inner harmony. Because then I'm able to love. And I don't want to base love off of people who just didn't know how to love. This is soul recognition in the two of cups. I mean, good luck not falling in love here. Mother Mary literally says love. And I love you. Thank you, guys. Um, I'm going to stop talking. And I'm going to get this over to you as quickly as I can. Um, but I thank you. So much gratitude for you. I will see you next time at our table or in the lives. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.